the 12 to 13 inches of rain we got was very devastating. Soils were already saturated, nowhere to go. So we're looking at a large area of, uh, of damage all the way down uh, in, in southeast Arkansas. We have got together a GIS information system. We have pulled together uh, actually our, our, our video or our slides that we pulled from from the satellites. We're all using all satellite data was actually from a week ago today. We had a clear day, 95% uh, accessibility to the scenes that we wanted to use. We're able to go and did some very complex analysis on the color spectra and we're able to determine what, what was underwater and what had been underwater previous to that. So we were able to go through and estimate the amount of acres. We were actually used the uh, National Agriculture Statistics Service data and got estimates in terms of what crops were affected. And we were looking at right now with some other areas that we got to examine, and this had been ground truth, we're looking at about 600,000 acres right now. Uh, we also divide the area in what I call impacted area and then heavy impacted area. And we're talking about inches of water versus feet of water. And we're still working through that. So I think some of the impacted area could be salvageable, but we know that the heavily impacted area will not be. So we're still looking probably about half of what we were looking at in terms of what we call heavily impacted. Very important uh, that we try to, as quickly as we can, get an assessment of damage estimates. That's really important from a policy perspective. It's really important from a farm management perspective. So we're doing what we can to put together as accurate an estimate as we can of damage, uh, of damage from the flood event. Now we can find our analysis to just the flood event in the South Delta from the week of June 7th. And, and we're looking pretty much exclusively at major row crops because that's what we've really got objective data on to the extent that we have data at all. We're seeing so far in our analysis uh, losses of a little over $70 million on soybeans, uh, about that, just a little less than that on rice, about $60 million on corn, uh, about six million on cotton and about another million on wheat, primarily due to, to, to quality loss on wheat that was being harvested. You put all that together and that's uh, around $207 million in direct losses on those five crops in, the, in 12 South Delta counties. There are clearly things that we're not catching in that analysis, especially crop impacts, for instance. Uh, we know that in the North Delta, because of the wet weather, there's probably some delays that people are still experiencing in getting planted. There may be some later yield effects of that. So uh, that, that's not included in that direct loss estimate. At this time of year, about the only game in town will be to replant soybeans. Uh, we're already at a time of year when there'll be a significant yield penalty on that. But in some cases, it may be worth doing. And that's part of what we'll try to help farmers with moving forward is the decision of should I replant uh, or, or is it too late? Is it worth trying to replant? Using enterprise budgets and uh, price projections, we can help farmers work through that decision because that's going to be a really important decision. First, contact your county agents. They're going to be the ones that have got their finger on the pulse, not only at the local level, but at our level, trying to get that information to them. And pay attention to our website. We're going to make sure in our blogs. All of our crop agronomists have a blog. Subscribe to that. They're going to be talking about this the rest of the summer.